It's our story. Mark Johnson, Atlanta, Georgia. Mikasa is a is a piece of federal legislation, uh, uh, Medicaid and um, um, Community Attendant um, Services and Support Act. It's it's an attempt to reform Medicaid so that community goes first. Right now in our country, as the nursing home and other providers have made facility first. And obviously what ADAPT wants to do is, cha is changing that institutional bias. And one of the things that will help change it even further is the passage of Mikasa where Medicaid dollars in are saying, hey, where do you want to have your support provided? Versus right now, well, this is where you need to live. Instead it's gonna say, where do you wanna live? So Mikasa is a, is, is a piece of, of legislation that's only been introduced. This is the fourth or fifth time, probably the, I think the eighth or ninth year. Um, and we could beat up on ourselves and say, gosh, it hadn't passed, we hadn't made any progress. Or we can look at it and say, hey, similar bills are being passed on the state level. You know, that's what's happening. You're seeing this erosion at the grassroots level that ultimately will make something like Mikasa, Mikasa and Money Follows People logical at the federal level. In fact, money following people is becoming real logic or to some budget guys because they're saying, hey, this is potentially budget neutral, meaning if we're paying for someone to be in this bed in this facility and what we're talking about is that money following them, hmm, that might make some sense. Maybe we need to explore that policy and make it possible for money you know, to follow the person. So Mikasa and money follow, follow the people are just two particular policy initiatives that that ADAPT and, and other groups are, are uh, you know, pursuing or pushing for. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.